welcome to Haute Belleron and welcome to this open space we are stood in front of. Now, I thought I'd do things a little bit different here, so I'd like your thoughts on it. Um, as you can see top right, we have 1.5 million in the bank. So I've started in farm manager mode, which I've never done on a Let's Play. And I think I've only ever done it on FS19, just kind of messing around, building up a farm. So I thought I'd do something a bit different. I thought would go like this. Now, I know a lot of people will probably argue and go, well, that's a little bit cheating. Easy start, 1.5 million. But we don't have anything. We don't have any land, no farmhouse, no tractors, equipment, building, sheds, nothing. So that 1.5 million isn't going to go very far. And you could argue as well, that if you start a new farmer mode you kind of get it all handed to you on a plate i know on this map you get three tractors harvester all your farmhouses here and you get three fields so you know the argument could probably go backwards and forwards but please let me know your thoughts of me doing it this way i hope it's not going to be too easy if I feel that we have got too much money to start with, then maybe we'll sort of give some to charity or sort something out. But we are going to have to sort of build our farm up. I'll just talk you through some of the settings that I've done. And then we'll take a look at the map if you're not familiar with it. So these main settings. Um, at the minute I've got on real time whilst we're building the sort of farm up. Um, I probably, when we start actually playing, I'm going to try around 10 times 10 to start with. Um, because what I want to try and do is each game day, I'm hoping to be each episode, if that makes sense. So as it starts getting dark in the day on the farm, that is going to come towards sort of the end of the episode. That is the plan doesn't always work like that but we have got plenty of options that we can change up we've got a time six and all sorts so i will play around with it as we're playing got on normal economy traffic's on seasonal growth is on and i'm going to play with three days per month so it will split the months up into three sections which i think is going to be a little bit better because Having it on one day seasons is literally one day a month. So if that makes sense. So we're going to go for three days. Now that probably won't kick in until September now. Because we are in August. And it isn't showing now. So I'm guessing it's going to kick in on September. So August will be actually one day in game. Um we're going to turn that off snow's on hopefully we get some snow as we go through into the winter crop destruction's on period plowing's on field stones are on because i want to experience that lime is on i've turned weeds off because i don't like weeds i just it's not a job i enjoy i know i was going to originally have everything switched on so we experience the whole new game but weeds are weeds and I'm kind of feeling that the field stones may become the new weeds for some people. Yeah, it might be exciting to start with, but I can see some people getting a bit fed up with them. But we'll see. Dirt's on normal. And then these are just all normal sort of settings. I've turned off all the AI worker refills. So that is pretty much the settings we've got. Now, this is the map, if you're not aware. It's a lovely little lovely little looking map that's a mouthful and like i say we don't own any land at all now we could have gone somewhere else but to be honest with you there isn't really any sort of building set up where we could probably buy because if we click on this it all these sort of areas they get sort of they're not darkened out so we can't buy them anyway and without coming on here and ruining a field to build a farm we're kind of sort of restricted back down to here so we are going to go here which is where they start you in new farmer mode and what i want to do 
again people may say well that's a bit cheating but you do get these free fields in new farmer mode i want to buy this whole area so again that's going to eat into our money quite a lot so we'll buy this area which is going to be our farm and then we'll buy field 40 41 42 and 39 so we now own all that area and as you can see we're down to 870,000 which again sounds like a lot but we haven't got any buildings no equipment and nothing so what have we actually inherited in terms of fields so field 38 first let's go in order that is wheat by the look of it 39 looks empty so that's pretty cool and then 40 we've got canola 41 is oat and 42 is corn so that's interesting we're going to definitely need a corn header for that how are we doing in terms of growing oh so 38 40 and 41 are ready to harvest corn's probably a little way off because you got this darker green color there as well so that's probably got another couple of months i would have thought oh we got our work cut out here with harvesting um a few of them need plowing so again that's all equipment we're going to need i've turned the weeds off in this menu because we haven't got them on so that doesn't apply to us so three of our fields are going to need ploughing once we've harvested them um, field 42 needs lime but obviously that's got corn in so we can't do anything with that those three fields will have to be harvested this episode because because I have seasons on we have only got that time frame to harvest them so wheat canola and oats this is our last opportunity to harvest them and also by having three days per month that kind of gives us a little bit of leeway with the harvesting whereas at the minute august is just going to be one day so we have to get those fields harvested so that's going to be a challenge right let's start putting some buildings down first of all we need a there i am look i just thought i'd show you what i look like my little flat cap on because it's august we do have a t-shirt on so pretty cool we need a farmhouse to start with so at present the only one we've got is the in-game one again that's 150 to buy it's a thousand that is what i'm going to do is i'm going to place it over here so we're tucked out in the corner out of the way kind of leave a little bit of room for around the back because we do have a back door plonk that down that's cost us 150 so we now have a farmhouse cool right what now well we're going to need some sheds at some point as well now these guys came out the other day and i absolutely loved these sheds yes they are expensive but i'm going to put one down we're going to go for a four door and i'm going to go here next to the farmhouse try and keep away a little bit from the um, field so that we've got room to turn around especially if we hire workers i will be using workers as well but hopefully not too much and we'll leave a little bit of a gap down the back I can always do a little bit of landscaping as well a bit later so we'll go there so it's going to cost us a little bit more than what it originally cost that doesn't look too bad what I like about this area is it is quite flat so I'm hoping this hasn't done too much damage we're right on the edge of the road but that's cool we don't need to get around the back there and we can get around to our back door i'm happy with that that is good all good good next up i want to get a silo 
now we've got the in-game ones I think in new farmer mode you get this on all the maps but I want to go for a multi-fruit one again this is going to be quite expensive just below 200,000 that's going to cost us but it does give us the multi-fruit option and I was thinking we're going to go somewhere here so that we can drive in and out easy underneath these sort of canopy there we've got so if we go something like that again it's going to cost us a little bit more because this ground probably isn't as flat as we'd hoped so let's go something like that that's pretty cool so that's some of that to start with so we still got all this area we can do if we buy some more sheds and through the winter i'd like to try and sort of go into animals possibly chickens especially if we've got some wheat there we can harvest and also we've got the greenhouses so it's going to take a little bit of planning where we can put things but we've got all this area here so far so I think maybe we'll just leave it like that for a minute. I'm not going to worry about landscaping too much yet because we need to crack on with this harvesting. Otherwise we're going to run out of time. So there we go, that is that. There's our silo, looks absolutely huge. A little bit of a eyesore as we look out from our farmhouse, but that's okay. Oh, light's just gone off. I'm probably going to leave some of these markers on just to start with because I'm still learning myself. I've not even actually had a proper playthrough yet on this game. I've just been messing around trying to learn different new features of the game and putting tutorials out there. So I'm still learning as well and I'm pretty sure some of you guys have got a really good head start on me. So if I do anything wrong or you've got any ideas and suggestions, then please let us know in the comments. We are going to head up to the shop now. We've got a little bit of a walk. And we're going to start looking at some equipment. So obviously we need a harvester. We need tractor, trailer, all sorts. So it's going to be all fun and games and our money is going to go down and down. We spent over a million already at least we've got somewhere to sleep i'll see you up at the shop and we'll see what's about right so here we are outside armand motors let's see what they can offer us i have turned it up to times 10 we'll see how we get on so this is our shop menu and what we will be doing is checking every now and then the discounted used vehicle sales oh oh there's a harvester there that's interesting we'll come back to that in a second so we've got a plow we've got a methane powered tractor that's quite slow that guy though seven miles per hour got a plow but i'm not a big fan of plows i prefer using a subsoiler and then we've got this MAN truck, which I'm not interested in at all with that. 138,000 for John Deere T560. What is that normally? 285. See, so we've got the Deutschfahr top liner, which is what they start you off with in new farmer mode. We've got this guy, but it's not a very high horsepower and it doesn't hold a lot. That holds 10,000 litres. I know we've only got small fields. And I have got this mod downloaded. The Class Dominator. Which is very cheap. Holds 7,500. 221 horsepower. Which is pretty cool. Oh, I just I am tempted with that John Deere on sale. Is it going to be too big for our farm though? I don't think so. Hmm. Then we need to think about headers though. So in headers, what's the cheapest? John Deere, 43,000 for a header. 
7.6 meters so that's not too bad that's going to put us well over 200 grand though isn't it for that and that class dominator this is the header for that 8500 <laughs> wow that's 30 slots on console that is that's very hefty i know i've got a huge slot count now but oh dear yeah that is expensive isn't it oh no it's 138 not 168 it's 138 It's going to keep us below 200 grand. Oh, I just... Can we justify it? We've got a lot more equipment to be buying. We're going to need cedars in the future. I don't want to lease too much equipment. I want to try and buy most of it. Some things that we're not going to use regularly, I'm going to lease so oh let's just bite the bullet shall we let's bite the bullet or keep things standard i'm not worried about number plates um we'll just keep that as it is in fact let's turn that to no plate Let's buy it. I'm scared. So we need a header. Like I say, I mean, some of these guys will attach up, but there's no point doing that. Let's buy this fella for 43. So that's 181,000 we've just spent. 221,000 left. Obviously, we need a tractor, so we're going to go with a medium tractor. We want one sort of reasonably good. I do like these older style looking tractors. So you've got the Massey Ferguson and the Voucher. They've also got this, which came over from SF19. What I like about this guy is you've got the option to change up the engine. So at the minute it's on 170, but we can go right up to 261, but that is going to be quite expensive. So that could be a good tractor looking towards the future, being able to chop and change it. I think we're going to go for that, you know, we'll just go for the 170 to start with, 97,000 to buy. I think we might change up some of the wheels. Let's go continental. Can we use narrow tyres though? That is what I'm... Yes, we can. Right, good. We'll just go standard. So that's 97,000 for that. And we need a trailer. So I want a pretty decent capacity trailer. I quite like the look of this class because that is quite cheap and it goes up to 22,500 which is pretty good for 20 grand. So again I think we will we'll go, I'll keep it on Trello balls I think, chassis colour, okay we can change that up, we'll leave it as it is. Uh, number plate, not worried about the number plates, I'm really not, I'll get rid of them, if we get stopped by the police for not having a number plate, I'll deal with it at the time, <laughs> it's 20 grand, let's buy that, so I think we are pretty much, um, oh, header trailer, that's the other thing, isn't it? I know we're only over there. We could risk it for a biscuit and driving, but... So that's going to fit a five. We want the one that 
fits ours, which is this. So that is quite good if you're struggling to find out if you, um, which sort of header trailer on that. If you look down the bottom, it's got a combinations button now. So if I push R3, it comes out of a list of all the headers that will go on that trailer, which is pretty cool. So our guy will, these are all really big, aren't they? Was it this one? No, it was that one. That one. Yeah, our guy will fit on this one. So that's another 5,500. Spare wheel. We don't want a spare wheel. We're not going to. And again, license plate. Let's get rid of that. Okay. Oh, we got to buy it first. <laughs> right, no plate. Let's buy that. Right. I can get round there to put that on. Let's jump in this bad boy. Oh my goodness, we've only got 98,000 left. Maybe I was being a bit greedy buying this. But I do love a bargain. So this should What I do like as well, the headers actually snap onto the trailers now, which is pretty cool. You haven't got to worry about them. Just get it lined up. And I do love the reflective beacons. Awesome. Right, well, I'm going to haul all of this back to the farm. And I'll see you back over there. And we'll get cracking with some harvesting. Right, so let's get cracking with some harvesting. Now, this will tell whether our shed is too close. <laughs> Not too bad, I can get round there, that's cool. So, let's unfold this bad boy. Now, I want to make sure I've got straw swath enabled because we can get straw off of this and the oats yes it is that's cool and off we go i'm pleased we have actually gone for the wider header actually because Although the fields are fairly small, it's going to cut down our work time a little bit. So we're at 7.6 metres, aren't we? And I think the class dominator one was only, I think it was 5.1. So that's going to help out a lot. And as you can see... have stones in this field they actually look like they're small ones so we probably could oh actually this does need plowing doesn't it so we're going to hook up some larger stones if we start plowing or subsoiling also I haven't adjusted any of the sounds so let me know if the machines are too loud or everything's okay that'd be cool because I want obviously you guys to be able to hear it and enjoy it there is our custom built farm over there it does look a little bit bare still but we've got the sort of essentials down I would say so we're kind of in terms of money at that stage where we would be in new farmer mode but we haven't got quite as much equipment <laughs> we've just got the one tractor 
so anyway we'll see what happens and we can always take out contracts that's going to be something that we're going to be looking at as well especially in the winter months see what's about if there's any cultivating ploughing or fertilizing in it like that Obviously, the more I say these things, the more I realise this is all equipment that we are going to need in the future. Fertiliser spreaders, subsoilers. We're going to need to mulch these fields afterwards to get our 5% yield increase. And then rolling the stones. Oh, so much. What have I done? so much equipment to be dealing with it'll be fun field done and like I say I want to keep all of the wheat because we are going to be looking to get chickens further down the line the canola it was canola wasn't it and oats will probably sell off I we'll check the prices as you can see I turned the time up to times 15 and we're already at 230 so I'll probably pop that back down a little bit Let's just jump out of there. How much did we get from the wheat field? 14,878, so that's not too bad. Plus we're gonna have all this straw that we can collect up. It's not gonna happen this episode, but it can stay on the floor and we'll look to do that next episode. And we'll get some more straw from the oats so we can sell that. That's gonna give us some extra income. Let's have a quick look at the prices. Um, for things we're not interested in the wheat so oats and canola that's good it's going up at the GCHB grain elevator we can also check the price fluctuations so it is kind of telling us that in January it's going to be right up there but we could keep hold of it for a little bit we'll see and canola as well what is the actual prices le jardin de farmiers the farm shop not too bad we'll keep an eye on the prices but we also need to keep an eye on our money as well so what i'm going to do is i'll tip this into our silo our brand new silo and this will go towards the chickens when we get them that's awful that collision camera hope that gets sorted out soon quite like this trailer actually very cool and I will carry on harvesting those two fields 
and I'll bring you back in when we're done and we'll probably leave it there for this episode so quite a bit done I'm probably going to start with the oats so we can get the straw going it doesn't really matter but I'll see you in a bit they should all be done plenty to do over the next few episodes I think winter time it's going to be a little bit quieter but we'll find things to do to keep ourselves busy so I'll see you in a little bit guys well I am absolutely fuming I do apologize guys I recorded just as we were finishing off the canola field I bought the harvester over, I managed to tip in the silo from the pipe. I've put the harvester away, I've put the header back on the trailer, harvesters away. I ended the episode, said goodbye to everyone, we talked through how much crop we had from each field. And for some reason it stopped recording, I press hit the button to stop recording. I've come in to edit it and it is not there so I have no idea what happened it obviously didn't save it so I do apologise for this abrupt ending and rubbish ending it was only about 6 minutes worth of video but it was how I wanted to finish it but anyway this is all f harvested canola the oats as you can see we have lost a lot of light the oats have been harvested, got a lot of straw, the straw will be absolutely fine, it won't rot away. So in the silos, if we go into here and come down, we knew about the wheat, but we ended up with 14,485 litres of oats and only 6,634 of canola. I'm probably going to keep hold of everything, it is going up, but if we go into this menu is telling us that the prices should be going up but how accurate that is i'm not sure same with the oats um they did top out at 1271 at gchb but we will keep hold of them we've got 98,000, so uh, a little bit annoyed about all that but what we will do is we'll put these things away just to try and make up for this awful ending technology eh, of today I think we'll back that in there and we'll put the header trailer away in there the harvester is obviously filthy so that is the next thing we probably could do with a jet wash so that was what I talked about as well in the recording I completely forgot to show you and, and sort of talk about because we bought this second hand if we go into our vehicle overview I forgot to even sort of talk about that so it was 32 months old obviously buying it used I think it only had 18.1 hours on it we've added an just over another hour on there and as you can see the maintenance is at 53 percent whether it went down a little bit more probably did from harvesting three fields but i was meant to repair that when we bought it so at some point we will need to repair that i mean it's obviously making the harvester not work to its full potential should i say Right, if we put that trailer there, and then the tractor can live in there. And we'll try and back this header in. I don't think this trailer is a swivel. No, it's not, so that's good. I'm happy with that. I can't stand the old swivel trailers. And we will back that in, and I'm going to go in after that and have some dinner and get to bed. I did actually say to you guys that I was going to do all that about two hours ago in game. <laughs> so like I say, I do apologise.
but we'll back this in. Lights off, engine off, doors down. Let's turn these lights off. So we're all locked up, ready for a new day tomorrow. So that is it for this episode. It was all about sort of showing you guys how we're setting up. I know it's a little bit basic at the minute, but we will build, we will grow as we go. Need to be careful of the money as well as we go though. So I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then please do. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.